Best day ever. You're gonna hate me tomorrow. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Now. Sorry, honey. What are you doing? She's doing quite well. But this has just gotten exponentially worse. It's like a river. Why are you in the lantern? Yes, you can't stay in here. No. Good morning. Not exactly what I was expecting when I walked in this morning. I actually thought it was the one side, but it was actually my side that I'm shipping this morning. They just got ahead of themselves. What they did was um, the board, this their gate here, came. Uh, it came unscrewed at the bottom, so they forced it out of the uh, sort of the C channel here and broke out. So they are attacking the water right now. So I'm going to let them have a drink because I'm not sure how much water. Mind you, there's water at the sales barn, so they should be okay. You guys must have been out all night. Partying all night. Now they need water. All right, we got them loaded, and it is a big load this week. Mark has found our water issues in the pasture, and they're stemming from way over here. On the other side of the barn. So probably a spring fix but we have to get rid of this water because they're calling for an inch of rain tomorrow all right we just got back I haven't decided after lunch what I'm gonna attempt to do I have to retire the nanny that has to happen today because I think that was the last of the milk replacer in there I should take the load of use to the sales barn but that's two loads today and it's really foggy outside so I'm not sure if I want to do that and the handling system is still set up for hoof trimming. And all I need is the afternoon and I would be done hoof trimming. Maybe I'll ask Mark. Mark's usually the voice of reason. I had a good lunch with Mark and he said, ship next week. You have nothing on next Wednesday. I said, okay, because yeah, my lambs, I typically try to time them every other week. So he's right, next Wednesday I will have uh, time. I don't think I have a lot sort of planned for next week. And my handling system's all set up for hoof trimming. So I think the plan of attack for this afternoon is to uh, tear down the nanny, put all the hoses away, and take her into the shop. The shop is very full, so Mark's not impressed that she's gotta find a home there. But I don't want her to freeze and need to replace her. She is irreplaceable. Well, she's not, but it's too expensive to replace her. So uh, we're gonna find room for her. I'm gonna just work away at that. I am probably gonna plug in another audiobook. I have been listening to Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Yeah, I gotta get going here. Are you three gonna be a help or a hindrance? I'm gonna say a hindrance. Cinnamon, is that you? Why are you in the lamb pen? All right, we almost got it cleaned out. Perfect. We got this all cleaned out. It'll get cleaned out again before we start to use it. But uh, I just want to clean out before storing. We're gonna take off the three hoses that get used right now. Well, you guys, I'm sorry. It's a sad, sad day. 
Well, you almost had a whole amount one, so today was the day. Yay. Best day ever. Best day ever. Hi, you're lovely. Hi, you're gonna hate me tomorrow. Hello, my prince. Let's not tip the nanny today. That's sort of the goal. <laughs> okay, dokie. Time to hoof trim. Looks like Piper's already in the pen causing chaos, which is great. <laughs> So a few of these I've done yesterday, probably half. I know a few I haven't marked, so I'm gonna have to check everyone, but the ones with a red mark can go straight through. They're already done. There you go. Nope, nope. We've got PETA locked and loaded. Uh, her feet are, I don't think I did her yesterday, because I don't think I, but this is how much better it is when they are on concrete. So they were outside for all summer and they had that little bit of uh, pad outside. So yeah, hers, hers look like they've already been done, but I haven't done them. Teddy's were kind of okay. Unless I did yours yesterday. I don't think I did though. If I did, I did a really bad job. Did I do your feet yesterday? Oh, what's the matter? You're so silly. It's the quietest I've ever heard you. That's it. She's done. So, yeah, I think that's just from her being outside. Which is great. Okay, monkey. You're going to lay down on the job. What are you doing? Peter? Gotta use the pencil. Yeah, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, come on. Come on. I need to pee. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> you have to go. You have to go. Yes, you can't stay in here. No. You have to go. morning it is uh, Thursday today my day has sort of already changed 
Uh, first thing this morning, I was gonna hook the truck up to the wool wagon here and get my stockpiled wool. I was gonna go and get it washed today. He emailed me last night, said, can we push that off till next week? I said, yes. So I think that's Monday's job now. So I have texted Carissa. We're meeting out here and going to vaccinate our bottle babies because we weaned them yesterday. They're going to be grumpy probably, missing their lattes this morning. I had mine, thankfully. <laughs> Yeah, I see they all come up to yeah. you. Hi, maybe you won't be that hard to do. Hello, hello. I think, I don't know how I'm gonna do this if I need to stand. Yep, there's the baby. Right at my leg? Yep. Hi, honey. I know, you're so hungry. I didn't do a little red one yet, did I? All right, king of the castle. It's your turn. snuck out for a little bit. Uh, it was mail day, lots of mail happening. I haven't been to the post office since I was lambing, so it's been, it's been a minute. I told Mark I need to take the afternoon just for myself and run some errands, errands that I know he will not want to do. So I'm actually at a thrift store. I'm gonna do some thrifting and then I'm gonna go to Indigo because we have book club on Sunday. And I'm also on the hunt for some Valentine's sort of decor for our bookshelf. So, that's this afternoon's errands. And I typically do all this stuff with Jess, and this is the first time I don't have her with me, so I'm sort of sad. just got back. Actually, I didn't just get back. I went through all my P.O. Box gifts from you guys and it's all from Christmas and thank you so much. That was lovely reading the letters and the cards. I wanted to show you my haul from today. This is so much funner when Jess is with me, but bear with me. There was not a lot for Valentine's Day and I didn't want to spend a lot of money because it's Valentine's Day. They already get enough money for a holiday we've literally just made up so our husbands would remember to get us a card. I needed a pillow to replace Santa, and that's the only one I could find. I love you. I love you. I got just this, because she'll love that. A little, just a little sign. Be patient, be loving, be kind, be gentle. And then I went to Indigo and... Are you kidding me? We had to add them to our shelf. And I found a little... A little heart light. And then of course I have now turned into a puzzler or I'm attempting to be one and I thought that was really cute. Indigo has the best puzzles. I've never looked on Amazon yet. I should actually do that. All right, Mark's on the treadmill right now. So we will set up the bookshelf later tonight with all my stuff. But look how cute they are. Are you kidding? Good morning. We've had a SOS from our 
firstborn. He's got some major water issues. Um, his backyard's underwater and it's getting dangerously close to his house and his basement was already very wet. Yeah, he didn't want to ask us for help, but Mark's going ice fishing next week. So I'm like, if you need us, we're coming today. So I think we're gonna do that this morning. See how we fare. The poor kid is just so overwhelmed. He just got back from Quebec. He was there for the last couple of weeks, so welcome home. I cannot believe it, but the sun is out and it's like above zero. It feels like summer. And yes, I still have a hoodie on, but that's only to uh, hide my, hide the snow on my roof. That's gonna be melted off tonight, I promise. We just got back from Jack's place. What a disaster. I think we've booked, uh, not this weekend, which would be tomorrow, but next weekend we're gonna do a full on work bee and uh, help him at least take care of one room that's in really rough shape. But yeah, there's water. His backyard is completely underwater. So we got a sump pump going, taking the water out from there. His neighbor, his garage was underwater. So this is a whole like subdivision issue. Like it's just a low lying, um, older neighborhood. Jack is really overwhelmed and I think he was just happy to see us today. So I'm glad we made the trek down there. Got a deadline today, not today, but end of the month. And I know I will forget if I put it off. And that is some, um, just a government program we're a part of. So I have to get some numbers together and get that sent out. Uh, we do that at the end of every six months, I think it is. So I need to do that. And uh, then I have to go to the barn because my curtains are sort of on manual right now because there was so, so much snow outside. So I have to adjust those because it's probably getting quite warm in the barn, believe it or not, after being like sub-zero. And I want to check my wiener lambs. That was painful. Anyway, we have that done an hour later. So I'm going to go check the barn now and see how our sheepies are doing. You guys have spring fever and you're filthy. Filthy. Look at those feet. Come on. Are you guys still mad at me? No. Nah. Hi. How are you doing? You drinking your water? Hey. Where's my puppy? Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. How are you doing? Have you found the water? You're right in it. Don't step in it. They're still a little mad at me, but um, I think they're looking okay. They've still got a nice bloom on them, which means they're eating and drinking okay. And we haven't had an update on my mama in a while. She's doing quite well, but uh, definitely starting to lose some wool. So she obviously had a fever. So it was a good thing I was treating her. She won't be staying with us, unfortunately. Um, we won't be able to breed her back just because that udder is compromised now. But because she has been treated with some pretty heavy duty antibiotics, she's got a, she's got a hefty withdrawal date. So we'll be keeping, I'll keep her with this lambing group um, right up up even after they're weaned and when I do that udder evaluation. So she'll be with this group for a couple months before she'll even um, be shipped off. But yeah, we won't be able to keep her, unfortunately. The other thing is she's actually aged out this year. So she is one of my ewes that has turned six this year. So she would have been going anyway. It's a shame about her udder, but we wouldn't have been breeding her anyway just because she's aged out. I think Mark just got back from helping his brother. It's just a day of like, helping people. I think the spring thaw is like just there's a lot of people struggling with just floods everywhere so um, we're helping everybody else even though across the road at our place is completely flooded. It's a nightmare. Good morning. It is Saturday. We have made it through another work week. I am on for chore duty this weekend because Carissa had a concert last night so based on her sister's Instagram story I think she was having a good time last night and uh, is probably appreciating the morning to sleep in. For my Christmas gift, Mark bought me a drone and I haven't had a good chance to use it yet because the weather's been sort of garbage. He asked me if I wanted him to take some drone footage of chores this morning. I'm like, that's actually pretty cool. We'll see how that works out. He took a bunch of drone footage last weekend and must have forgot to press record because we got no footage from it.
Come on, Moose. Our drone battery 
isn't very lengthy so Mark was like my battery is dying I'm like it's fine we got enough I am just currently putting in a couple bales of straw and a bale of hay over in the market lamb barn we do this about once a week um, now we had a little bit of an escapey problem on when was that Wednesday so they made quick work of all our straw in the middle alley so um, yeah that wasn't ideal so we probably blew through a little more straw than we typically would uh, which is a little scary because our straw this year we are blowing through it because this fall and winter has been so wet and speaking of wet I'm gonna show you once I get these bales in I'm gonna show you the disaster of a pasture slash problem that we found that made the pasture so bad I sort of wish Mark still had the drone going because you would get a good idea of just how much water is in the pasture. Maybe I'll climb up, I'll climb up on the uh, dump wagon here and give you a better view. All right, it starts from way over there, like past the fence line. And it's this whole area. There's the road, there's a the lane, it goes right to the lane, and there's the gate, it goes right to the gate. So before it's always just been a little bit of thaw in that corner because it's a low spot, but this has just gotten exponentially worse all winter. Okay, the problem is when we renovated our pig barn to make our uh, market lamb barn, we had concrete that needed uh, taken out of the barn and we also wanted more yard. And to make the yard firm, you usually bring in like whatever you need to make a good yard. Uh, so our excavation crew came in and we actually buried our concrete um, under the yard. However, Mark now realizes there was probably a main tile like 12 feet down, so underneath all the stuff that he buried. So I think what has happened in the last 10... when did we build this? We renovated in 2011. So 2012, we probably did this work. So it's been like 12 years. Over the 12 years, it's settled and it's crushed the tile. So um, we had water bubbling up and that's how Mark is like, okay, we got a tile issue somewhere here. So he dug it up and this is the water draining from over there to here. And this is the flow still, like it's like a river and that is uh, a low spot in the field. So that is just the melt thaw just from the field and it's also draining that uh, pasture, which doesn't look like it's drained at all. That's how deep it was. Yeah, so there, that's where the tile probably is, way under the ground there. You can see the sort of current coming out of there. So yeah, that's a mess. We gotta get that all dug out. We gotta get all the concrete dug out and moved away and uh, redone. So we have to call in a big, a big rig, a big excavator to do this. Mark did what he could with the mini, but it's not big enough. We've got to go deeper. So yeah, he's not happy with his past self. Are you thirsty? 